<laughs> okay guys so as you can see i've done one eye first i just need to kind of get an idea of how i was gonna do this so we're going to start on to my other eye so best of luck <laughs> i'm first of all going to prime my eyebrow region so just where the crease is and up toward the brow this is going to neutralize the skin tone and also add a little bit of like a tacky base just so that the eyeshadows and things can adhere to the skin a lot easier and cleaner Next, I'm going to grab my jumbo stick in the color Milk. This is from NYX, and I'm just basically mapping out the shape of the butterfly wing. So I wanted it to be kind of like a flick out towards the brow, as you can see. The great thing about using this kind of cream base to map out the eye shape is you can kind of just easily just rub it out with your finger like I did, and then just kind of go back and clean it up where you need it to so they're both even on, you know, obviously both sides. You don't want one wing thicker than the other kind of thing. Then what I do is just grab that jumbo stick again and just kind of fill in that wing so the whole thing is nice and white and it's a nice clean canvas for the eyeshadows to really stand out, you know. For the first eyeshadow today, I'm grabbing Pegasus from Makeup Geek. It's a beautiful, beautiful foiled eyeshadow. Gorgeous. And it's so reflective. It just literally just highlights like this kind of butterfly wing. Today I used kind of shimmery shades. I, you can go in with like a matte wing if you would like because the eyeliner we're going in today is reflective. However, I think that shimmery shades blend a lot smoother and cleaner together. So that's why I went in with shimmery shades. As you can see, I went in with another blue shade. This is Poolside from Makeup Geek and I kind of wanted to create a bit more tonage in the butterfly wing. So I used it right next to Pegasus and it's a little bit deeper in color. So it just created a little bit more tonage and kind of dimension to the wing. Next, I'm taking this beautiful shimmery purple from the Chi Chi Pride palette and I'm placing that on initially with my precise shader brush from Zoeva and just kind of getting a nice crisp line up against that kind of um, edge of the butterfly wing. Then I go in with my finger and just kind of fill it in. It's a lot quicker and easier. I also don't bring that purple all the way to the tip of the wing. I want to add another color, which is this beautiful, vibrant pink shade. And I also use a little bit, just a tad of this shimmery pink shade next to it in the Chi Chi Pride palette. Just to, again, help the colors blend a lot smoother as shimmery shades blend a lot easier together than mattes do, I found. That's just my personal opinion. So I'm initially taking that pink shade and just placing that on the very tip of the wing and blending it into the shimmery purple. Then I go in with the pink shimmery shade and I blend that into the purple again to create a nice soft gradient. As you can see, I've grabbed both Pegasus and some of that shimmery purple shade and I'm just blending those two together back and forth just to get that beautiful soft gradient effect so they blend seamlessly together. They just melt into one another. It's a beautiful combination. <laughs> Then I'm grabbing some of that shimmery purple shade and some of the pink shade. I'm just blending those two together to get the perfect blend, as you can see. Once I've done that, it's on to the eyeliners, which I'm very, very nervous about. So I'm taking this blue liquid liner. This is from Revlon, I think. I'll leave all the um, products down below for you guys. I can't quite remember. It is a new product, so I'm not 100% sure. I love it so much with this look. And I'm basically just outlining the outside of the wing. So I want the blue liner to outline the purple. And then I'm going in with that purple liner, which is in the shade Cool AF. <laughs> and I'm basically outlining the blue region of the wing. So I kind of want them to kind of swap over, if that makes sense. So it brings all those colors in into the different areas. It just has a really cool effect, I found. Once you've outlined the wing, it's now time to get those details in there. So fill in the kind of intricacies of the butterfly wing. This bit makes me nervous. So take your jumbo stick in milk again. And I grabbed an eye concealer brush and I just mapped out the shape very, very lightly, as you can see. Just the very outer points first where I'm going to outline them in blue. So again, grabbing that blue eyeliner, I'm going over the kind of mapped out shape that we've drawn in with that white jumbo pencil. And I loved using that white jumbo pencil first because it does give you a bit of an idea and you can rub it out. Like I said, it's so easy to rub out and just kind of fix up. So once I've done those blue little de details in the wing, I'm going into the purple part, which is the front portion of the eyelid. 
This part's a lot harder because of the shape of the eye I found. I just found it, it was a little bit more trickier, so do take your time with the step. As you can see, I did need to fix it up, so I went in with some of that jumbo pencil and just cleaned up the very edge of that eyeliner and just went back over with eyeshadow. It was very, very easy to fix. That's the good thing about this kind of look is it is easy to fix. It just is easy to make mistakes too, so do take your time with the step. I also went in and blended the blue and the purple eyeliner together as you can see where they both meet in the middle. Just like we have with the eyeshadow, I want them to kind of fade into one another with the eyeliner. Next I'm taking that jumbo pencil again and just mapping out where I want the rest of the lines to go. I did about five lines I think, <laughs> yes right, I can count, it's five. <laughs> Then I go in with the purple eyeliner first. I wanted to knock the hardest part out of the way, which is the purple part. Like I said, the inner corner of the eye is a little bit harder to do. So what I've done is I've done little triangle points at the top and bottom of the these little lines that we've created. It just makes it look more realistic like a butterfly wing. It gives a bit of curvature and shape rather than just straight lines going down, if you get what I mean. And I've also done the same thing with the blue. I've done little triangles at the top and it comes down and meets those lines at the bottom. And that, guys, is the hardest part of the look. The liner is the hardest bit. So well done for getting past that step. Next, I'm going to add lashes. These are stunning. I actually think they went perfectly with this look. These are Annie Chew lashes and they're in the style fairy. They are so full, so voluptuous. Oh, my God, they're just everything. <laughs> For my inner corner and brow bone highlight today, I'm going in with Enlightened from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and placing that on the inner corner of my eye in the very high point of the brow bone. For the bottom lash line, I'm actually keeping it really simple today. So I'm placing a nude eye curl firstly in my waterline to really open up the eyes. You can do a blue eye curl if you think that would be really fun. I just thought a nude kept it simple. Next, I'm taking this beautiful like loose pigment from Makeup Geek in the shade Sugar Rush. It's an iridescent -y, kind of bluey white shade. And I'm just placing that on with my finger initially right up underneath the lash line and kind of dragging it down in a teardrop shape. Um down my face a little bit not too far down just a little bit next I'm taking this eye shimmer from gorgeous cosmetics in the shade diamond it's a beautiful silvery shade and I'm placing that on in the same area that we placed uh, sugar rush and just kind of making that teardrop kind of effect to emphasize that teardrop effect I'm going in with the glitter this time this is like a holographic kind of glitter it is silver but it does have little flecks of like purple and blue in there when you turn your eye so I loved it so much and it has different sizes so I have like a few big pieces there and then I go along the very um, bottom of that lash line area with the little ones the little glitter pieces just to give a different effect so you've got big pieces you got little pieces I did toy with the idea going in with blue glitter as well but I thought this kind of silvery one was enough because you can see here it just changes colour when you turn your head it's so so beautiful. So for mascara today I thought it would be a little bit fun to change it up so I went and took this electric blue um, mascara from Rimmel and I placed that on my bottom lashes. Oh it just looks so good especially with the glitter it doesn't cover up too much it just ties in well with the lid like mmm. I loved it so much. I'm actually so proud of how this turned out. I wasn't sure how it would go, but it actually turned out really well. If you guys attempt it, please, please tag me in your recreations. I actually love seeing them so much. It's always so cool to see how you guys, you know, take your own little spin on it. And I do hope you enjoyed today's look. I know it is a little bit more uh, intricate than what I usually do, but I've just been really enjoying using color and trying different things lately. And the butterfly looks have been a bit of a trend I've seen lately, so I thought it'd be fun to attempt one. If you guys want me to do another look, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. I love you all so much. I hope you're all staying well and healthy, and I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.